Hi guys, and um, welcome back to the Fine Foods channel. Today we've got a slightly different video because, as you all know, season two of Fine Foods Food Review, the show for food lovers and eaters alike, has come to an end. And while I'm working on season three, um, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that have been sent in by fans so you can learn a bit more about the channel. And um, so that it's still food related, I'm going to be eating some very spicy noodles while I while I answer the questions. So I'm gonna have a bite right now and then we'll head straight in to the question answering. Question one comes from a good friend of mine who is um Ben. And Ben is half of the legendary YouTube um tycoons titans um team um called the spectrum and let's take a look at what ben has to ask me is it hard to stay humble in the face of fame do you eat puss what is your favorite item of food you've ever had on the show well i think those are three amazing questions and um i'll answer them very quickly the um answer to the first question is Yes, it is very hard to stay humble, um, especially when my channel has been growing so much recently. Um, when I get stopped in the street, people sometimes ask me for pictures, and it does get a bit overwhelming, and I do find myself um, slipping out of my humble roots. So whenever I, whenever I feel like I'm, I'm losing my, my grip on reality, I like to go back and watch some of my old videos to remind myself of where I came from. Um, now, the answer to the second question is yes, on, on the daily, on the regular, whenever I can. And the answer to the third question is definitely my favourite food on, on the show, Ruki Waflau, which is a really lovely um, 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 Polish, Polish wafer with vanilla inside. That was the first ever item of food I gave a 10 out of 10 on this show. Now, our second question comes from the other half of Spectrum, Subliminal Joe. Um, and he asks me, what is the best snack to graze on over a long period of time? Well, Joe, if you want to eat for a long time, you're going to need a very big item of food. And if you want to eat something small, well, that's not going to last you very long. So I wouldn't eat any, any chocolate bars because those last you only a couple of seconds. If you want something to, to graze on over a long period of time, maybe a day, maybe two days, I'd say that a full hog roast is really good. You can, um, if, if you've got a big enough one, you can eat it without any cutlery. You can just hold the, the whole hog roast and um, like that, and that'll keep you fed for, for at least a day or two. So if you want to, eat for a long time, do that. Our third question comes from a, another dear friend of mine, Sophie, and she asks, what is the finest food you have ever consumed? And I've consumed a lot of food over my 20 years on this planet. And I would say that the best food that I've ever consumed was um, caviar. I really like caviar and also lobster. As a lot of you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of seafood. And actually, I've changed my mind. The best thing I've ever consumed is soft shell crab. Soft shell crab is the the nicest food on the planet. It's like a crab but it's soft and you can you can eat the crab with without even taking the shell off and it's it's not crunchy, it's soft. So my favorite food I've ever consumed is a soft shell crab.
Going on to our next question, which has come in from Cameron. Cameron. And he has asked, if it wasn't for making racks off YouTube, what would you be doing with your career? I think that's that's a question that I've had to think about long and hard for a long and hard time. And um, I originally thought maybe if YouTube didn't work out, I'd become a dancer. But I've changed my mind and I think that I'd be a very good professional video game player. Um, because I'm very good at Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. That is one of the games that I'm the best at. And also Lego Star Wars 2. Um, I'm not so good at Lego Star Wars 1 or Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, but I managed to 100% Lego Star Wars 2 in just under 32 hours. So I think if I was not on YouTube, I would definitely pursue a career in playing Lego Star Wars 2. Our next question comes from one of my closest friends in the entire world. Um, his name is Josh, and he asks, what is the best fine foods background appearance? Um, now that's a very hard question because um, along my three years of making this show, I've had a lot of different people sit in the background of my videos to take care of me. <sighs> um, it all started on episode one when my friend Ben sat in the background and made sure that I didn't choke on my food. Um, so I think that's a very good feature. He started the trend of, of having someone in the background of my videos. Um, another great feature was, um, was when I had um, the famous producers Misogi and Josh Pan in the background of my video. Um, they were eating some food in the background, doing their own little food review, but in silence so that it wouldn't interfere with my video. I think um, my friend Dean is always very good on the show when he sits in the window, smoking his cigarettes and smoking his vape and drinking his drinks. But I think the best feature comes from the guitarist of my band, George, George, George. His name is George. And um, in the episode where I ate a pulled pork burrito, um, he um, was in the background, he walked on camera and he looked really stylish, along with my two other friends who were also in the background. So that was my favourite background feature on the Fine Foods channel. Our next question comes in from from a very good rapper. His name is Jacques Fuji. I've done some work with him in the past and he's very talented. And he wanted to know, is the earth flat? And the only answer that I have to that question is no. Um, I think everyone knows that the earth isn't flat. Um, it's actually raptor shaped. If you go up in space, here is a picture of what the Earth really looks like. It's not flat. This is the shape that the Earth is. It's definitely that shape, and that's why, that's why the um, that's why the the um the Earth curves like that because that's how it is. If it was flat, you'd fall off. <laughs> um, and now. Our final question comes from from my friend Jack, and Jack says, what is Lobster Gang? And that is a really great question. Um, Lobster Gang is the official name for all of my, um, my fans, my supporters, my watchers, my viewers, my food lovers and eaters alike, the Lobster Gang. Um, the term was coined um, in the um, season finale of Fine Foods Food Review Season 2. So that's a bit of um, Fine Foods history for you to um, enjoy. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fine Foods Q&A Mukbang. I know that I've definitely enjoyed these noodles. They're very spicy, 
but hopefully that hasn't impaired my ability to answer questions, and um, hopefully it's all good and fine. So, I look forward to seeing you all in the near future when Fine Foods Food Review Season 3 um, premieres. Um, it's in the making now, so get excited, get ready. Um, I'll drop you a little spoiler for Season 3. Season 3 is takeaway season. I'll let you do what you will with that information. And um, without further ado, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Thank you.